I want to preface this by saying, so far, I like Jobless Reincarnation, but it's kind of sus. This season has had me pretty busy between all the sequel shows out right now, WandaVision, school, and just life in general, but I finally got some free time so I decided to check out some of the new shows of the season. I'd heard some praise for Jobless Reincarnation, and even though I dread the thought of Isekai these days, I thought, what's the worst that could happen? And to my surprise, it was good. I'm not sure if this is an original concept, but it feels refreshing to start from the perspective of a baby growing up. Sometimes when I was younger, I'd imagine how things would play out if I had restarted my life, but with the knowledge I have now. This show definitely scratches that imaginary itch, with the main protagonist being 20 years old and restarting life in a new world with his previous memories. This approach lends itself well to the learning curve of the magic system and lore. There isn't a jarring transition between worlds since we learn about the world as the protagonist gets older. The real catch with Jobless Reincarnation is pretty much in the title. Things weren't really going well for the protagonist in the real world, which isn't uncommon for most isekai, but like, this guy was absolutely rock bottom. This man needed this reincarnation bad. Even though I like the show, this is where things get sus. The main character is mentally 20 years old in the body of a child. For those who don't want spoilers, this is a very lewd anime, and the protagonist sometimes finds himself in odd situations. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Minor spoilers from this point on, you've been warned. Now, not everything the main character does is sus. Well, at least sus enough to make a video about. Stealing adult underwear isn't that huge of a deal, I mean, if Spongebob can do it, then I think my boy can get some. Later, when he depanties his friend Sylph, it was an obvious misunderstanding that he regretted and apologized for after. It is what it is. But a few episodes later, this mentally 20 year old sees an unconscious 9 year old girl. Does he A. Do nothing B. Leave C. Take predatory advantage of the underage and unconscious girl Why? Why would the answer ever be C? The main character is way too sus to be left alone. Like, I get that this guy was a total social outcast in his past life, but this scene still made me way too uncomfortable. Not to mention later on he goes for seconds, but luckily pulls back. It's not 100% clear if this is because he's learned his lesson, or because she's wearing a ring that protects her from wolves while she sleeps. But either way, sus. Like, I'm slightly invested in the story and world, but if this is something that continues to happen in the anime, I'm definitely gonna have to drop it because, well... For anyone who has been watching this show, what do you guys think? Am I overreacting or are you guys in agreement that the main character is too sus to be left alone? Let me know in the comments and if you're looking for more anime content, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.